This video is about sodium valproate poisoning and overdoses. And as usual, I'll put all the references that I used to make the video in the description below. So what's the toxic dose of sodium valproate? Well, if you take more than 200 milligrams per kilo, you'll get CNS depression and may develop multi-organ toxicity. And large overdoses of greater than a gram per kilo are often life-threatening. What's the presentation of someone who's taken an overdose of sodium valproate? Well, the first thing you'll notice is they get GI upset, and a lot of people who've taken this will get, get vomiting as their first effect. But the next thing to know about is they may present drowsy with CNS depression. And it's worth noting that severe toxicity is invariably associated with CNS depression because uh, some of the main effects of valproate are to decrease the amount of uh, excitatory neurotransmitters like glutamate and to increase the inhibitory ones like GABA. So when you get severe toxicity, you almost always get sedation. Um, the other main thing you need to know about in terms of CNS complications is seizures. And then there's several metabolic effects that sodium valproate can cause. So it causes hypoglycemia, it causes hypernatremia uh, in large ingestions, and that's because of the sodium in sodium valproate. And then in very large overdoses can cause a metabolic acidosis and cause uh, raised lactate as well. And sometimes causes uh, raised ammonium levels, although those are, the significance of that is not entirely elucidated. And then down the track, you may notice uh, bone marrow suppression and that might show up on blood tests later. What's the treatment for a sodium valproate overdose? Well, firstly, you need to decontaminate with a dose of activated charcoal. And then secondly, you need to consider enhanced elimination with dialysis. So sodium valproate is amenable to hemodialysis. And this should ideally be intermittent hemodialysis or high flux uh, continuous uh, vena vena hemofiltration. And this should be considered early because it can dramatically affect the outcome of a patient who's taken an overdose of valproate. The sum of the indications, I should say, for doing dialysis are a very high valproate level of greater than 1000 milligrams per litre, or signs of severe toxicity like a very low pH, cerebral edema or shock. I want to talk a bit about a uh, not very evidence-based but interesting treatment, which is carnitine, which is often used as a bodybuilding supplement, and it's a nutritional thing you can just buy in any health food shop. And there's this theory that valproate decreases the uh, stores of carnitine and that that will then uh, interfere with what's known as the carnitine shuffle which is uh, a coenzyme transporter and the, the effect of this is that you get increased ammonium levels. So there's this theory that um, if you can override this disabling of the shuttle by um, giving carnitine and replenishing the carnitine stores then you will overcome this increase in ammonium level and potentially improve outcomes. There hasn't really been a good quality body of evidence that documents an improvement in outcomes from using carnitine, but it's a relatively low risk, safe thing to try. So if you have it available, uh, why not give it a go if you've got a significant overdose? Finally, any patient who's taken a significant overdose of more than 20 milligrams per kilo of valproate needs to be observed for at least eight hours. And at the time of discharge, they need to be medically well and hemodynamically stable.